take some cleavage of a man's <laughs> rear. <laughs> Oh jeez! Like but it's not. I call that boo. I call that bro. Um, cleavage envy. Cle oh, I have a yeah. joke about that cleavage, yeah. en cleavage envy when they have their crack. Oh, I know I'm slow today. Oh my God, my grandma moves faster than y'all. I, 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 I just want to grab. You got Hello, good morning. <laughs> good morning. Come on, beautiful. Oh, you got your shopping bags very well. I did well. get my shopping bags because. I'm getting used to being in California where they charge you for bags. Uh, yeah. Scott says, well, we're going to Arizona. I said, yeah, but I've got Trader Joe bags. I'm going to Trader Joe's today. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Have fun today. We'll see Bye. ya. See ya, see ya. Oh my God, y'all. Look at this Jeep and look at that awesome big dog inside. <laughs> hey. That is just so cool. Mmm, two McGriddles for $5. Bye, big doggy. Time to go to Phoenix. made it to Phoenix yay awesome sauce and we're gonna do some okay, shopping uh, we also had to come here to uh, pick up a friend but we'll talk about that later so I've come here to find a 12 volt TV actually it's 19 volt there's one down there the white one the black one beside it and this one how you can tell is because the above it says DC and this is a 19 volt plug this one runs about 200 bucks so the one we were just looking at was 28, this one's 24, and here's the same exact one but in black. And it is 149 for the 24. So, I don't know, four more inches, 50 more dollars. So I was just checking the plug on the white one, and yes, it is the same one. See, it looks like a laptop plug. That's what it looks like. Awesome. So I just noticed that this one actually is on sale for $179.99, so I think I'll go with this one because it's 28 inch. Yeah. Cool. So I found a 32 inch TV with a DC plug and it is actually cheaper than the 28 one was, so I got this one instead. Oh my gosh, now that's some good smoke. Oh, it does smell good. So we made it home safe and sound. Yay! Some of you might wonder why I bought a new TV since I do have this 46 inch 4K TV. Although when I was having movie night a couple weeks ago, um, it ended up, I don't know, I stuck it out the window and then when I brought it back in the next morning it wasn't working. There's just a line at the top and that's it. There's no picture. So I had to get this to replace it and also when converting power, you get up to a 30% loss, if not more. So 
that wasn't as efficient as this one's going to be because I'm going to be able to plug this one straight into the DC, no conversion, whatever, because it is a DC um, TV. So that's awesome. It's also an AC TV. I have both. Well, I'm going to have the DC plug. I have to order it and wait for it to be shipped in. Until then, I'll just use the AC plug. Well, I'm really excited about this. I didn't want to go any bigger than 32 inches. This is perfect what I was looking for. Um, like I said, the 46 and the 50 that I had before were just too big. This is going to be perfect. It has two HDMI ports. It also has a smart hub, which means it's a smart TV. Um, I can also watch stuff on a USB flash drive. It has one USB port. So... This is going to be amazing. It is 1080p, so full HD, wide color enhancer, ultra clean view, and it does have Netflix already on it. I'm just excited about this. This TV had all that as well, and it was 4K, which was just the awesome sauce. But, I mean, like I said, the conversion, I just got a lot of power loss with it, and it just wasn't efficient, and it doesn't work anymore, so... I'm going to go ahead and open this up. The reason why this was so cheap is because the box was already opened. It was a returned item. The people weren't happy with this. So that means I got it at a good deal. So as you can see, it has a laptop plug. This one is the AC one, but I'm going to get a DC one. Because you can buy laptop plugs that are already converted to DC. So I just have to make sure this matches right here, this plug-in. And I'll be good as gold. So it does come with a remote. Here's the stands, but I'm not going to need these because I'm going to mount it to the wall. So here it is. It's not a super big TV, but it's going to be big enough. Like I said, I had the bigger TVs in the past, and both of them broke. So, And I do have a smaller one. It's only uh, 28, I believe, and I haven't had problems with it at all. So hopefully I'll have the same with this. No problems. So here's the difference. You can see it is much larger, but not too bad. I think this is going to be perfect size. And I already have the wall-mounted bracket. All right, well, it's time to take this one down. All right, well, the new one is installed. That's actually a much better size. 32 inches fits there much better than the 46 did. But, And there it is. I just have to do the setup real quick. Yay, finally done. Alright, well, it's all set up and ready to go. I'm trying some YouTube and see how it does. Looks like it's working. Awesome! <laughs> I guess I picked the wrong video. This one's not a very good one. Oh, look at the deer! Meeting Mr. Snowman. <laughs> Uh, oh. <laughs> he ate Snowman's nose. So it plays stuff off my USB flash drive also, which is super cool. Yay. So all I had to do is order that DC plug and I am good to go. Awesome sauce. Alright everybody, I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me today and watching this video. I will see you in the next video hopefully. Until then, stay safe and onward bound. Bye.